Hello children, how are you all? Welcome back to e-learning classes. Yes, and today we are going to do living and non-living things part 2. Yes, in this we are going to do the question answers and true and false. Yes, the writing part we will do here. Okay, now did you all read the lesson nicely? Yes, did you all follow? Okay, very good. So come on, let's start with the question answers. You are going to write these in the textbook as well as in your fair book. Okay. Now before moving towards the question answers children, I will tell you one thing that there are five question answers in the textbook. Yes. Open your textbook. Come on see. Open your science textbook lesson number two at the back where you did the exercise. Yes. Yesterday of ticking the correct options and circling the odd one. Yes, in that you see in between them the question B, answer the following questions, in that 5 question answers are given. Yes, but we are going to do only 4, the first 4, the 5th one you put a small cross there, we will not do that question. Yes, because that is a little tough for you all, so we will not do that question. Okay, clear? Okay, come on, let's move towards question number 1. Okay, now before starting the question answers, what we will do? We will write the heading. Yes? Lesson 2, question and answer. And here what we will do? We will write the date. Our today's date is 29, the month is 7 and the year 21. Yes, and this side of the margin we will write Q-1. That means question 1. Yes, Q-1. Now, Read what is the question number one. What are living things? What are living? L I V I N G living then put dot on I don't forget many times in hurry you forget to put that things T H I N G S things then dash on T and dot on I and a question mark yes now, what after writing the question? Answer. A dash 1. Answer 1 will be the things that have life. T H the Things dot on I and dash on T. And remember children, the answer always starts with a capital letter. The things that have. Life. L I F E. And a full stop at the end of the answer. Now, see, children, Miss doesn't have place here, so Miss has continued in the second line. Yes? But I have seen many of you, even if you have place on the same line, you will continue in the next line. Do not do that. Yes? If you have place on the same line, then you continue there. Yes, no need to come to the second line. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू राइट एनी टू फीचर्स of living things l i v i n g living things now we will not put a question mark here why because there is the question does not start with the question word yes answer 2 they can move and eat full stop they can move and eat now let's see question number 3 question 3 Q dash three. Y R plants. Why are plants living things? Things. answer 3 they can grow A T H E. Full stop. They can grow and breathe. Next, what are non-living things? Question number four. Q dash four. What? आर नॉन
things. And question mark. Number answer four. Come on, tell me what are non living things? The things that have no life. Yes? The things. that have no life full stop so here we finish our four questions Question number 5, we will not do, put a small cross near question number 5, we will not do that question, yes? Now children, you see, write true or false. Now in your textbook on page number 11, the last part you see there, let's have fun. Is it written there? Yes? All these, all the 6 things are converted into true and false. It is given as right or wrong but we will not do it like that yes we will write true or false so you are not going to do in the textbook we will only do in the fair book and you are only going to follow this yes number one read cat is a non-living thing true or false false yes wrong cat is a living thing it can move on its own, it can grow, yes, it can breathe, it has food, water, yes. So, cat is a living thing. So, we will write false. F, A, L, S, E, false. Number 2, table can eat food. Does your table eat food? No, wrong. So, what we will write? False. F A L S E. By now you all have learned the spelling of true or false. Yes, but still if you don't remember, it is always mentioned in the question. So you can copy from there. Yes. Number 3. Car is a non-living thing. Can car move on its own? No, we need to drive, yes? Then only car will move from one place to another. Does your car drink water? No. Does it have food? No. So, car is a non-living thing. So, write statement. So, we will write true. T-R-U-E, true. Number four, a girl can feel, yes? Do you feel the objects? All the girls? Yes, girl is a living thing. So, it can feel. And we feel with our skin. Very good. So, this is the correct statement. So, what we will write? True. T-R-U-E. True. Number 5. Elephant need air to breathe. Yes. Now, first of all, tell me elephant is living or non-living? Living. Very good. So, all the living things, which are the three basic needs? Air, water and food. Yes? Once more, three basic needs. Come on. Air, water and food. Yes? So, elephant is a living thing. So, elephant need air to breathe. So, true or false? True. Very good. So, we will write true. T-R-U-E. True. Number 6. Tree can move. Can the trees move? No. But still they are 
living things why because they need air water and food yes so they grow so trees are living things but can they move no tree can move so this is a wrong statement so we will write false here f a l s e false so children all these things you are going to write in your fair book and question answers in your textbook also yes so bye children have a nice day